Hey everyone, it's Max here, back again with a new video. This time, let's make a bicycle-powered phone charger using a 12-volt motor as our generator and a few other materials. All right, let's get started. First, let's start out by making the generator part. For the base, we'll be using a wedge-shaped piece. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss any of my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. seems to grip onto the rubber pretty well and spin quite freely. We're going to need a charger to reduce the electricity coming from the generator down to 5 volts. Now let's cover the electronic components in styrofoam. So guys, we just ran into a little problem here. Face palm, stupid me. I'm using a 110 volt AC to 5 volt DC charger. I'm supposed to be using a 12 volt DC to 5 volt DC charger. So guys, I found a solution. Let's use those cigar style car powered phone chargers. Now let's take this thing apart. As you can see, now I've made another foam box, but for this charger. Let's solder it on to the motor, 
and then glue it all in place. Now we're going to attach a spring-loaded phone holder with a custom-made PVC clamp onto our bike. Let's secure the cable with some electrical tape so that it doesn't wriggle around when we're riding. Alright, let's take it for a spin. important to know that this generator won't start working at any slow speed. You have to get to a certain speed before it'll start generating electricity. So you don't have to go too fast, but just a casual fast pace. Alright guys, that is all for Pimp My Bicycle episode 4, how to make a phone charger powered by your bicycle. As usual, this project was a lot of fun to make like many of my others. There are a few things that you can improve on while making it. Mine is a little bit noisy because of the gears, you know, friction, scraping against each other makes that ne -ne 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 noise. And uh, if you find ways to reduce it, maybe instead of using gears, you can use a rubber belt around two pulleys. That can reduce the sound. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Unfortunately, you guys cannot comment down below because YouTube has disabled my comments for some messed up reason. And uh, if you do want to comment, head on down to my Instagram at max.imagination. I post updates on many of my projects and promo videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace. Feel free to check out some of my other PMB episodes. Thank you.